All right, so uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to go over the homework for um, was it uh, April from April the fifth, Wednesday. Okay, so this will will be what we will be making. Um, we left off on making the controllers and uh, match transformations on them to be placed in this uh, joint over here, right? So we're going to make pole vector controls and we're going to make the um, uh, pole vector, uh, what do you call that, constraints? Mm. Yeah, uh, parent constraints and pole vector constraints. So, okay. Don't mind these crazy little words like parent constraint, pole vector constraint. We're just gonna do it. You'll see what it does, what its uh, <clears throat> intended function functionality is and whatnot. Okay, uh, what else? We're gonna make the foot controllers, right? So not make, but um, I already made these for you guys. So you guys don't have to go through the trouble of making them. You're just gonna import them in. And then you're gonna do the IK, uh, the sticky IK, the one that I demonstrated in class for the feet. Okay, uh, like this one or like that and like that right yeah so we're gonna do that and then we're also I don't have it here on me but uh, we're gonna make um, controllers for the knees this knee and that knee and not controllers but uh, setup for the knee um, and also set up for the, the toes. Yeah, so we're going to do that as well. I just don't have it shown here right now. So we're going to do that. Uh, so that's the homework. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go file open. Uh, that one. Don't save. So this is where we left off. Okay, we made the uh, we made the controllers, you know, over here. Moved it over here for mass transformations, and if you notice, it's a bit crooked. You know, it's going this way, like that. I mean, I guess it's okay. You know, because uh. For the four kinematics, we had the joints straight, you know, make it clean. So, you know what? Let's do it then. I mean, I have it over here anyway. I was contemplating where to do or not, but I'm just afraid if, a, if students might end up doing a catastrophic mistake and I have to try to fix it. So, but whatever, let's do it then. What we're going to do is we're going to straighten up these controllers. What I want you to do is uh, from the 3D world, again, from the 3D world, we're going to select this controller. Boom. Just to verify, here it is. Okay. Then I'm going to press this button. Select by component type or F8. But I'll just press that. <laughs> Alright, so we got it into its components. Remember, I taught you guys about the components of an object? Well, these nerves, uh, curves, curves also have components to them, comparable to uh, vertices for polygons. Okay? Just make sure to have this on. I repeat, make sure to have this on. Next. 
click on the hammer tool that I kept on telling you guys about the tool settings okay make sure it is set to world okay if you have it set it to object it's gonna go in its uh, general localized direction have it set to world or reset okay close it all right so we're in its components right make sure you have this looking like that press r as in robert oh look at that it's still set to its uh, local axes okay if you see it like this right you go uh, again to its uh tools oh it looks like it's set to object the object's local rotation or orientation let me try reset that doesn't do anything let me try world right right world boom so it's aligned to the world at a perfect right angle okay so set it to world like i said not just for the object but when you select the little vertices right again check that it's set to world now i'm going to squish it squish it squish it with that one right here not this guy but this guy just carefully squish it all right good next i'm gonna select him okay again make sure this is on grab it like that make sure the little vertices when you select the handles everything is set to world okay r for scale and this guy right here i repeat this guy right there right here squeeze squish it press w and yeah now i still have the component components mode set up so i want you to press here to get out of the f8 i repeat press here to get out of the f8 all right so it should be blue all right good so we cleaned it up right here see okay we cleaned it up um i want to just highlight this i don't know eh, red yeah now let's work on this i'm gonna give it a color yeah like that i'm gonna close this and always do an incremental save do not save over what you did at home, uh, I mean at school. Increment and save over it with a number higher. Oh yeah, before we uh, move forward, what I also want to do is this. Remember our original, not original, but our uh, forward kinematics limbs that we made the last time around? We're going to grab all of it. Anything with FK. That one, that one. Right now, all I'm doing is pressing shift and left clicking. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. When that's it. These eight. Make sure they have FK on them. I'm going to go to edit. Uh, group. Boom. Double click on it. Type in FK. Group. All right, um, I'm going to select it. I'm going to middle mouse, click on it. I'm going to, like I said, middle mouse, clicking on it. And I'm going to just push it up and just dump it up here where there should only be a dotted line. If you see something like this, that means you're going to dump it into that stick man. Do not do that. Make sure it is just a line. I repeat that it is just a line. If you do not have this set up, that's because you were not in school for the project. So, I mean, for the progress. So I don't know what to tell you, but uh, if you don't have it, just ignore that part. All right. Now, next, what are we going to do? So I cleaned it up so it looks a lot cleaner now. Less stuff. Now, hmm... You know what? I want to select that. I want to press H, so it's so it's grayed out. Anything to help me see better. All right. 
Um, next, next. Okay. Oh, by the way, if your controller, right, that you made does not look like this, all right, that you made, and it's like flattened, right? Like flat as a card, right now it's standing. But if it's flat as a card, another student showed me theirs where it was flat like a card. That means that you did not correct the wrist joints local orientation. And if that's the case, you need to stop whatever you're doing and you need to tell me because it's not going to work. It's going to be problems. So I repeat, if your card, this card is not facing like this right now, something's wrong with your rig. Okay, and you gotta let me know. If you don't let me know and you keep on going, that's your, that's your issue. Okay, next. Um, so what are we doing? Constraining the IK handles to the IK hand controllers. So blah, 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 what does this all mean? Okay, let's just go one step at a time. Select the control IK hand left. Oh, here you are, control IK hand left, okay. All right, oh, there we are. Then from the outliner, control select the corresponding IK handle. Okay, corresponding IK, okay. IK hand, IK handle arm left. Corresponding IK handle arm left right there. So I'm gonna press and hold control and shift and up uh, and press left click. So that's control left click. If you're on a Mac, um, I think it's control as well. Control and click, I think. If not, it's command. But I'm betting it's control. Whatever, so uh, I did that, right? Um, so now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do uh, parent constraint. Okay. Um, skeleton. No, no, constraint. Okay. Parent. And uh, option box. Okay, constraint, parent, option box. All right, so we're gonna reset it, edit, reset. Everything's just back to default. Maintain offset should be on. Maintain offset, okay, we're good. Everything else should be left to default. All right, hit, apply. So it did that, look what it did. It made this crazy looking contraption, right? So we're good. As long as you have something that looks like this, you're good. Also, everything in here should be blue. So it means that there is a constraint procedure that just been, uh, you know, applied. That's, that's what this blue means. There is a constraint applied to it. Because when I open up the IK handle, right, the arm left, look what happened. This is what it did. It applied a constraint, a parent constraint. Okay, I'll try to explain what the hell that means, but uh, let me fix something first. So uh, this one should be uh, constraint. Right, 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 parent constraint. Yeah, okay, good. Constraint, parent constraint. Now we gotta do the for the right side. So I'm gonna hover over here. So for the right side, I need to grab the control, the IK control, boom, right here. Not from the outliner. If you grab it from the outliner, you're grabbing the whole entire set. You don't, you do not want that. If it looks like this, you did, you're doing it wrong. You're gonna wreck it. Just click this controller, just that. It should look exactly like this. If you did not do this for the left side, you need to redo it again. So make sure it's like this. All right, next. We're gonna to have to grab the corresponding IK handle right, arm right. 
They're right here, right here, right here. This guy right here. Control, left click, boom. And then I'm going to go to constraint, parent constraint, option box, maintain offset. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Just maintain offset. Apply. And it did the same setup. Looks like a bone within a bone. All right. Okay, so we did that. So I'm gonna mark it red. No. Red, there. So we did that and that. Next. You know, what, let me save this. Uh, increment and save. All right, so you should do that to increment and save. Next, match transformations for the pole vector controls. Okay, import the file called CTRL IK pole arms left and right. File. Import. Um. Oh yeah, for, for your you guys, it'll be on uh, Brightspace. All of this is on Brightspace. I repeat, all of this is on Brightspace, which should be, uh, I'm going to pull up uh, Brightspace for you. One second. Ooh. Uh, Alright, so yeah, the, here, here we are. IK pole arms left and right. You're gonna need that. And you're also gonna need this. Okay. This, this. So, alright. Um, so we gotta grab the. Right here, control, pull arms left and right. Um, boom, 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 boom. And... Nope. Oh, where the hell are you? All right, here we are. Pull arms left and right. Okay. And uh, here we are. I imported it, I gotta clean it up, double click on it. I'm gonna just delete everything here on the that side. Okay, so this is all you should have. Double click. Carefully select these. Delete it. Press enter. Alright, so here they are. So I made these as well. Okay. You're gonna use them. Okay, so now, um, so you're gonna you're gonna select the control I K, pull arm left. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's on top of it. Then you're gonna shift, select. Oh yeah, the M C H I K four arm left. So you got the the controller right. We're gonna zoom in in here. And we're gonna, in here in the 3D space, I repeat, in the 3D space, we're gonna grab the MCHIK forearm left, this guy. And I'm gonna hold on shift, left click, right there. Again, I pressed in the middle here, do not press in the joint, just, just don't, just right here, okay? Right there, it's, there we go, see? Now I'm gonna go match transformations. Modify, match transformations, match all, boom. Okay. Same thing for him, grab that controller. You could grab it in here, in the 3D world is fine because there's no locator stuff attached to it. Now I'm gonna select the forearm. Okay, I repeat the forearm. 
okay forearm which is here not here that's the upper arm forearm hold on shift left click boom match transform modify match transformations match all transforms boom this is how it should look like if you have this over here you did it wrong if you have this over here you did it wrong okay all right so we did that and that okay now you're gonna grab uh both of the ik pole arms so this guy and that guy all right and uh we're gonna all right it has data in it we have to freeze the transforms um so now freeze the controllers transforms yeah so from here i grab both of it go to uh modify freeze transformations boom cleared it out and from here we're gonna go back negative 50 in the z z is the blue handle all right so right here minus 50. so why are we doing this well, these are floating controllers to help bend the elbow. You know, you can bend, either bend it in different angles, more or less, and you need to put it out here. Because if you put it right on the joint, it's gonna be inside of the body, so we can't manipulate it or see it. That's why we did that, to pull it back. And um, I'm gonna, I'm going to flatten it. So I'm going to just hit R. Okay. And remember, it has to be in the world coordinates, world settings. So again, that guy, make sure it's set to world. I mean, not that it matters. We froze the transforms, but whatever. Yeah, make, just make sure it's set to world. And I'm going to squeeze, flatten it, flatten it. Flat 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 and now i have to freeze transforms again because i still have that negative 50. modify freeze transformations boom nice and clean okay all right uh, uh, we did this one. Don't mind the F8 thing. Uh, we we did basically the same thing as the F8 and scaling, flattening their uh, vertices. But I just did it as an object mode. All right. I want to increment and save file. Increment and save. Okay. Now let's do this one. Pole vector constraining IK pole arm and IK handle arm. So from the outliner, first we're gonna control select. Oh, just first we're gonna select the control IK pole arm left. Pole arm left, IK. Control, IK, pull, arm left. Click it. Here we are. Okay. Then we're gonna also select the IK handle, arm left. IK handle, arm left. We're gonna also want that. So you can hold on uh, shift, hold on shift, and also left click on this. This one should be a, uh, then, shift select yeah so there we go so we did that so we first selected the the control ik then i shift and left click selected the ik handle 
uh, arm left. So it, first, second. All right. So it should look like this. This should be white, and this should be this thing should be here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go. And also, you should see this over here. Now we're gonna go uh, constrain. Right, constraint. Constraint. Pull vector option. Where are we? Pull vector option box. Okay. And just hit apply. And watch what's gonna watch what what is going to happen. Boom. You need to have this. So this means that there is a link between here to here to here. Well, not necessarily, but this is what you should see. Okay, like that. If you do not have this, something went wrong and you gotta redo it. Next, this side, same thing. We're gonna select the control, IK, pull arm right. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, shift select the IK handle arm right. Wait, but it's way up here. IK, IK handle arm right. I don't want to shift select it. If I do that, it'll select the whole thing, which is not what you want. Okay. So I selected the right, right? Control IK pull on right. Now I'm going to press and hold the control. And I'm going to also select the IK handle arm right. That's the, doing the control select way of doing it. All right, so I did that. Now we're gonna do our pull, uh, constraint pull vector. Constraint pull vector apply. There we go. All right, so boom, boom, okay. I'm gonna do a file increment and save. All right, so we did both of those. Next, hand controller. So, you know what, let's, let's show what we did. Yeah, yeah, we should do that. So this whole setup we did, basically, when I grab that and I go up and down, you see how the elbow starts to move, right? See, see how this is manipulating this. Okay. And then if I grab, um, right. If I grab the IK hand, right, the ORG, right. And if I grab that, yeah. Oh, that's that. If I grab the ORG, see? But remember to undo it. Do not just go something like, I don't know, something like that and just leave it like that. If you do that, it's bad. Just undo it just like that. Okay? So for example, okay, like that. Okay, I moved it like that. All right, so this, now this, uh, uh, wrist controller, right? It is manipulating the joint, all right? And this is manipulating the elbow, okay? See, always be careful. All right, that was a perfect example to be careful. I, I undo twice just to make sure. Okay, well, yeah. So that's the whole setup that we just did. Okay. Um so but what else is there? Alright, so the other thing I wanted to mention is if you guys zoom in, you notice so the this IK right the a controller if you notice the um, 
the el this thing is only supposed to control the elbow, which it does. But if you notice, it also manipulates the wrist area here. Watch. So if this guy, if the end wrist joint is turning, it's gonna influence other things. That's gonna eventually connect to that end, like the hand. And you, do, you don't want that. So that part is what we're gonna fix. Basically it's called having, a, having the hand controller, this guy, this hand controller, right? It's gonna have a orientation constraint override, okay, to negate the pole vector influence. This pole, this is the pole vector controller, right? And it's influencing this little ball joint for the wrist. So we need to do something to uh, negate that. So it sounds like a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo, which is fine. Let's just uh, select the control IK hand left. Here, this is the hand left. Just that. Make sure it's, make sure you only have this thing in green. All right. Then I'm going to shift select the MCH IK hand left. So what is this MCH IK hand left? That is literally I'm going to zoom in. This is that the disjoint. So in here, in the 3D world, I repeat, I'm going to grab it within the 3D world. I'm hovering over here. I'm going to carefully, I'm going to press and hold shift. And I'm going to click on this ball joint. Just to verify, I have MCH IK hand left, okay? Which I, if I pop this open, here it is. Just be careful not to select anything else. So this is all you should see. Okay, we did that. Now we have to constraint. Orient option box, constraint, orient. Because there's different types of constraints. There's a parent constraint, a point constraint, orientation constraint, scale constraint, aim constraint, pull vector constraint, which is what we've been working on for the pole vector for the elbows and also for the legs soon. But we're going to choose the um, orient constraint option box. Orient constraint option box. Option box. And we're going to edit, reset everything. We need to have maintain offset on on everything is default hit apply if you notice we have something set up over here all right now okay all this stuff that i just did if i grab the uh this handle over here to to manipulate the elbow which it does but if you look at its end joint, look at how the end joint is not moving like it did before. We isolated it so that the end joint is not being messed with. So that's what we did. Now we have to do it for the other side. So we're going to select the control IK hand right. Here's the control for the IK system hand right i'm just gonna select that within the 3d world not in the outliner do not grab it from the outliner you should only see this in green now i'm gonna shift select the mch ik hand left i mean ik hand right what does that mean well the mch is basically what it means it's a joint so this guy right here hold on shift I'm going to just left click on that. Be careful, do not select the locator, do not select the IK handle thing. Just you should, only thing you should have is white, green, and that's it. Now I'm going to do orient constraint. I didn't throw away the option box. 
if you already forgot where it is, it's under constraint or in constraint option box. Maintain offset is on. Hit apply. Now close it. So when I test it, I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna just pull my elbow in. I mean my arm. Then I'm gonna grab the pull vector that controls the uh, the pulling on the elbow. Uh, 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 uh. But you notice the wrist end joint is not being uh, manipulated like how it was before. So undo, undo, undo. Always make sure that your controllers are zeroed out. See, zero out. Grab that, zero out. Grab that, zeroed out. Now I'm gonna save. File, increment, save. Okay, good. Okay, now we're gonna do the creating the IK, uh, creating a single chain IK solver for the IK feet. So, uh, what does that all mean? We're gonna do the same thing for the IK for the feet, basically. So, um, let me zoom in down here. Uh, all right. And boom, 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 boom. Okay, so we need to get uh, the skeleton. Let's make sure on rigging. Skeleton. Create IK handle. Create IK handle. Option box. IK handle option box. We're gonna reset. Then current solver single chain. Current solver single chain switch it also turn on sticky all right let me uh, move out of the way so here is here's our controller all right oh by the way if you're working on a mac um this will not work Unless you have show pivots turned off. I repeat, this will not work on a Mac if you have show pivots. If this is checked on, it will not work. All right, so from here, um, we're gonna first click on the MCHIK foot left. All right, so which one was the foot left? It was, I believe him, he was a foot left, and this was a f f uh, toe left. Foot left, toe left. So I'm gonna go zoom in. I'm gonna just carefully just click here. Ah, look, see? Foot left, all right. Then to get the IK chain, okay to the I MCH IK toe left, which is not him. I'm thinking, in my mind, my brain is thinking him because it looks like that's the end. That's where the toes are. But click on this. I repeat, click on this. Okay. So it goes here to here. If I click it, here's my toe left. So from here to here. All right, now we're gonna do for the. Hey, let me turn that in right there. For the right foot, so I'm gonna flip it over. So I'm gonna go to um, constraint. No, no, skeleton. Create IK handle option box. Make sure it's set to single chain, and make it make sure it's set to sticky. Then we're gonna first click on the MCHIK foot right, which is uh, this one right here. Just be careful, do not 
I still wouldn't just click in here and I'll just click outside here. I'm just being neurotic, but I'll just do that right here. MCH IK foot right. And then down to the um, MCH IK toe left, which is here, not here, here. Boom. So here to here. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna work on this part. Basically, we're gonna do that um, IK thing again from um, the toes left to the toes left nub, N nub here. So I'm gonna go Air skeleton create create the IK handle option box just double check single chain solver sticky okay carefully I'm gonna click on this IK toes left IK toes left to IK toes left nub. Left nub is here. I'm gonna click it. So it did that. From here to here. Finally, I just turned around. I'm gonna activate my uh, skeleton, create IK handle. Oh. Skeleton, create IK handle option box, make sure single chain solver, sticky. And we're gonna go from the MCH IK toes right, which is here. MCH IK toes right to the MCH IK toes right nub. Right nub. Well, from here to here. Okay, we're good. Now we're gonna rename. Okay, so your numbering could be a little different depending where you are and what order you did things. But uh, we're just going to do rename things like the IK handle one. All right, so that's uh, that's uh, this one right here. This is the left side. Okay, for me, this is the left side. Basically, just select the the left sided one, okay. The ones now is highlighted in green like that. Double click. I'm gonna name it to with a space foot left. Because it's in the foot and it's on the left. I'll hit enter. So yeah, there you go. IK handle space foot space left. Next one. Double click. Make sure you know what you're selecting, okay? Put right. Next one. Oh, this one is on this side. So I'm gonna delete the three space bar. It's gonna name two uh, toes left. Toes left. This one is on the right side. Delete. I write down toes, right, toes, space, right. So you should have this guy right here, I can handle foot left. This guy here, I can handle foot right. This guy here, toes left. This guy here, toes right. So I'm a little bit neurotic, so I'm gonna go just organize them so the IK toes left. I'm gonna middle mouse, click and hold. I'm, I'm gonna just place it right here. Not on top of it, I repeat, not on top of it. Make sure you just have a dotted line, not like a rectangle box, not like this, just this. Make sure it is just a line. 
because I'm just gonna put it right underneath it. Then yeah, so this one's fine. Toe, foot and toes, foot and toes. We're good. Now I'm gonna go file increment save. All right, so I did all of that. Okay, so for the next, so uh, so this is what you should have so far. Okay. Um, let's do some organizing. All the IK handles. Anything IK. See, all that's IK. Okay, make sure it is IK. I repeat, make sure it is IK. I'm gonna just make sure I dump it all in here. Uh, right click. And uh, should I do it? Mm. Yeah, let's do it. So I did right click, add selected. But make sure that the, you know, you ha you actually even have this uh, display layer. IK group display layer, because I got FK, I got IK. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, give it a capital I. Yeah. Maybe i give it a different color. I don't know, maybe like that. All right, so everything is uh, color coordinated. Okay. All right. All right, so now I'm gonna import a couple of other things. Uh, they're called uh, import file. Um, Control IK foot base controllers. So let's first bring that in. Um, so file import mm. this one import file. CTRL IK foot base controllers. All right. So here it is. Okay. Yeah, it's the right one. Perfect. Okay, one second. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay. So, um, also the import file CTR L I K foot other control other controllers. All right. Uh, file import. Uh, not that. One. Not that one, uh, this one, yeah. No, uh, this one. Other controllers. That will be on Brightspace, okay? You'll see it on Brightspace. So, got that in, okay? And I'm gonna hide my stickman mesh. Okay, so next, we gotta rename the IK foot base controllers to something else. For example, stretch this out, these guys, right here, just gonna delete the end, and this one, there you go, boom boom, let me double check something, yeah, good, so this and this. CTRL IK left, uh, IK leg left, CTRL IK leg right. Make sure you have the naming correct. Right, left. All right. Um, boom. Next, let's, uh, I also have to clean up all of these. I already named them for you, so. 
That should help out. It's gonna get rid of uh, all of that. Boom. Right here. Right. Oop. Right there. Right there. Hey, how do I get the... Oh, okay. Um, right there. And uh, right there. That changed this name. I didn't fix that. This one should be... Make sure to do the CTRL IK foot swivel. All right. So we got left and right. Left and right. Okay. It's these guys over here. Heel, left, and heel, right. They're on top of each other. Swivel, left, swivel, right. Toe, left, toe, right. Okay. And as you can see, everything is cleared out. Do not mind this. This is from when I was uh, building these controllers from scratch. So, yeah, they're not history. All right, good. Okay, so we did all of that. Renaming it. So now, I'm gonna select the CTRL IK foot swivel left. CTRL IK foot swivel left. Mm, there you go. And also the CTRL IK heel left. CTRL I whatever. IK heel left right there. So I'm gonna do control and left click. Not shift, but control. CTRL heel left, swivel left, and toes left. Yeah, toes left. Not no 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 no. Not that. Not the toe end. Toes left. Where the hell are you? Right here. Okay, so I grabbed all of that. C T R L I K heel left. C T R L I K foot swivel left. C T R L I K toes left. Okay, so this is what it should be. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm going to snap and move it. What I mean by that is hold down V as in Victor turns into a little circle. I repeat. Hold down V as in Victor, so it will turn into a little circle. From there, I'm going to snap and move it to this joint. So, holding down V, left click, and... Oh, look at that, it just did it. Huh, strange. Like that. Okay. Right there, right there. Then, as you notice, I have transformations. I cannot have any data in here because these are controllers they need to be pristine clear clean free transform so clean 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 okay next yeah uh we snap moved it to the mch ik toes left yeah i should at least remind that this one right here MCHIK tools left. And let me uh bread it. Now I'm gonna make it red. We trans we froze the transforms. Good. Next. Same thing. I'm gonna grab this guy. He uh heel right. This guy. Holes right, and this guy swivel right. So I just grabbed it from the 3D world, holding down the shift key. Now I'm gonna move and snap it, hold on V as in Victor, turns into a circle, press and hold the left mouse click, and it'll just automatically, when I just even move a little, it'll snap it. Boom. Okay, right there, right there. Freeze the transforms. Oh yeah, freeze transform is over here. Modify, freeze transform. 
I have it also on the shelf. Hopefully you'll remember how to do that. If not, I have it in the PDF documents when I gave it out. Gave it out way in the beginning of the semester, so yeah. Okay, I did that. I also freeze the transform, yep. Colored red. Now the leftover. The grab the toe end left and I'm gonna move and snap it to to here. This is the toes left nub. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh so where are we? Where, where, where? Oh god. I'll grab one of these. Here we go. Toe end left. Right, toe and left. Move and snap it to the toes left nub. Hold on V as in uh, Victor. Turns into a circle. Left click and drag and snap. Boom, right there. Has Now it has data in it because I moved it. I need to freeze it. Modify, freeze transformations, boom. And then Color out, grab this one, and hold V as in Victor, left click and drag and snap, and uh, modify freeze transform, boom. Alright, alright, so there's, here's our, um, custom foot setup so you'll see it all come together and it literally is like a, a robot in a way it's neat and also this uh, this uh, foot setup it's um it's newer back a long time ago there is a thing called reverse foot setup a reverse foot setup that was like 10 years ago but now, the seem to be something newer, or just better setup, which you'll end up seeing. Okay, next. Uh, so from here, we're gonna grab the IK foot swivel left. Here, no, here. IK foot swivel left. It's this guy right here, that one. And I'm gonna dump it into the CTRL IK leg left. CTRL IK leg left, right here. Make sure to read. Your, your order might not be the same as mine, so make sure to look at what you're gonna drag and drop into. So this one, swivel left, gonna drag and drop into leg left. The way we do that again is right here, press and hold the middle mouse, right? Move, 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 and drag and drop it into here. As you can see, it's a dotted rectangle. Boom. Now when I open it, Inside of here, inside of this left leg, C T R L I K, this guy is piggybacking off of him. So when you look here, when I grab that controller, now he is part of it. Okay, that's what I mean by it's piggyback piggybacking off of it. Next. Let me uh, read read that out. Okay, so now I'm going to grab the swivel right, boom, and I'm going to drag and drop it into the leg right, IK leg right, IK leg right is right here, here's my swivel right, I'm going to middle mouse click and hold, drag and drop into the leg right, the IK leg right, make sure it has a rectangle dotted 
container. Boom. 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 All right. I'm gonna grab the toe and left right here, which is this guy right here. Okay. I'm gonna dump it into the IK foot swivel left. Oh, in order for me to do that, I need to pop this open because the IK swivel left is here. Okay. Remember, I'm gonna pop it open. So I'm gonna grab the toe and left right here. I'm gonna move him into here. I repeat, I'm gonna move him into here. So select the toe and left, middle mouse click and hold, drag and drop into him. Him. Not him, him. Boom. So now the chain goes up. Boom. Boom. Together. The reason why they are together is because he is piggybacking off of him and him is piggy piggybacking off of him. Okay. Next, let me crack open this. I need I need the uh, IK toe and left. IK toe and uh, no. Right here. IK toe Oh, what the hell am I doing? Pay attention. Yeah, yeah, I already did that. All right, so I'm gonna grab the IK toe and right. I'm gonna drag and drop it into the swivel right. Right here. Toe and right. Drag and drop it into the swivel right. Middle mouse click and hold. Drag and drop it here. Boom. And crack it open. This one to this one to this one. Yep. Then I'm gonna grab the CTRL IK heel left. IK heel left, okay. Um, oh, right, 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 right. Okay, good. So uh, I grabbed the heel left, which is him. Heel left. Okay. Don't want the arrow. And also the IK toes left. This, this little arching looking thing is the toes left. So shift and left click. Okay. So IK toes left. And you, we know I grabbed both of it because one is white. That was the first one I grabbed. The other one is in green is the second one I grabbed. The most recent. And here it is. IK heel left. IK toes left. Heels left. Toes left. Both of these selected, I'm going to dump them into the IK toe and left. IK toe and left. Here is my toe and left right here. You see that guy right there? IK toe and left. These two that I just grabbed in blue, I'm gonna drag and drop it into the toe and left. So same thing, either one of these on top of it, I'm gonna just middle mouse click and hold, drag drag it and drop it into toe and left boom so when i do that the toe and left which is him this is the toe and left this guy right here so that that means these two guys that i just moved and dropped now these two guys are piggybacking off of him so when i grab him he grabs these two and then this guy, swivel, is here. And then the whole leg left is here. 
Okay. So we got your toes. Toes left. Heel left. These two. They're uh, catching a ride on top of him. Right? Right. Okay, good. And this guy is over here. All right. All right. So same thing for the right side. Grab the heel right and the IK toes right. Grab both of them. Right. And I'm going to dump them into the IK toe and right. And I, oh, right here. IK toe and right. Both of these selected, middle mouse anywhere in here. Middle mouse click and hold, drag and drop into him. Toe and right, boom. And crack it open, there we go. Boom, boom. These two are riding off of him. He is riding off of him. And him is riding off of him. Yeah, good. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Good. Uh, close all of that. Okay. That was nice. Cool. Let me um, color that. Color that. So from here, we have to um, make these controllers actually control the joints, the IK joints. Because all we did was just the um, parent thing. So now we're going to make the controllers, like I said, literally control the joints. So from here, um, so it's another round of constraining. So we're going to select the IK heel left. So I popped open everything. All right, left. Heel, which is the arrow. Grab him. IK heel left. Grab him. Then you're gonna, sh uh, well, shift select or control select the IK leg left. IK, oh my god, I, yeah, this one. IK handle leg left. That guy. So first you select the controller. I repeat, first you select the controller. I key heel left, controller, and then, then you're gonna also select the I key handle leg left. I key handle leg left, right here, right here, right here. But you do it by pressing down control and left click. There you go. First, second. I can handle leg, leg, leg uh, left. Then we're gonna do a constraint. Constraint, parent, option, box, constraint. Boom. Leave everything alone. Just make sure you have maintain offset on. I repeat, maintain offset needs to be on. It has to do with the controller maintaining it's offset yeah and everything else should be just left alone as is hit apply this turned out all blue meaning we have a parent constraint going on next and red so same thing on the other side control ik heal right which is him, heel right, and shifts up, control select, god damn, control select, control select, right. First you grab the IK heel right, look for the handle, IK handle leg right. I can handle leg right, right here, right here. Control and left click. 
I can handle leg right. Go up here, apply. Okay, so I repeat, select the controller, then the IK handle, not the other way around. It's easy to get thrown off, especially after a, over an hour or more or after a long day, it is super easy. Controller, then the IK handle. Okay, and then color red. Next. Um, okay, so select the IK heel left. Heel left. Okay, here is the heel. Right. Heel. Controller. Then uh, select also select the IK handle foot left. I repeat, IK handle foot left. IK handle. Uh. Wait, there you go, there you go. IK handle foot left. Control left click. There. IK handle uh, foot left. And apply. Okay, so that was a heel to the foot left. I can handle good. Next, select the IK heel right. IK heel control IK heel right. Okay. Then also select the IK handle foot right. IK handle foot right. Right here. Foot right. Control left click. IK handle foot right. IK handle foot right. Apply. It's all in blue. Good. And color it out. Next, control. Select the control IK toes left. Control IK toes left. Boom. I, in my mind, I keep on thinking this should be called heel, but it's not. You'll see why. You'll see. You'll see exactly see why later. But just in my mind, I'm thinking this should this controller should be named heel, because because the damn heel is right here. But you'll see why why it is the way it is. Anyway, whatever. Um, so like the control IK toes left, right? Then also select the IK handles toes left. So control toes left. Control toes left. Also then also select the IK handle toes left. IK handle toes left right here. IK handle toes left. Control left click. Okay. Apply. Good. You got that weird looking uh, joint going on. Alright. Okay. Now I'm going to color that out. Next. Select the control IK toes, right? Control IK toe toes right. You gotta be very very careful. Select the IK control IK toes right, right 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 here. Like you, this can seriously screw you. Like you really gotta be neurotic and just look at it like three four times over because it all starts to look the same. That's why. So control IK toes right. And then, then you also select the IK handle toes right. IK handle toes right. Control left click. IK handles toes right. Apply. So, what did that all do? Let's find out. Because there were all these constraints. So, for example, if I grab that, the swivel, okay. You got that. 
also that that you have this okay then if I grab this remember I said I K toes left the one I I'm keep on thinking it should be a heel because it's touching the heel right is it is that the heel or is that the ball of the foot or is this the heel <sighs> whatever whatever anyway so here so this is why toes left it is controlling the toe or is this the ball of the foot and this is the heel this is the heel yeah whatever okay um then this one yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah. good 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 and good 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 and this one boom 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 and boom 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 see very neat grab that again yeah good boom 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 grab this good and good okay all right the other side grab that one you can rock the heel yeah yeah that is the heel and then you can swivel from here right and you can also kind of kinda do that and grab that boom 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 grab that there we go neat well this not so much that and then grab that do that you can do this and this yeah 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 good yeah Oof. all right awesome I guess uh, I'll leave it up at that um yeah so this will be pretty much the homework and I would if you're gonna take a break I would just like um, you know take write down when you're taking breaks at what time frame because you don't want to end up you know doing the looking at and doing the same thing over again yeah maybe I should have said that earlier from the beginning when you take breaks to make a notation as to where you stop off and where you go again all right so this is for homework Please have this done. If you, hopefully, when everyone does this, we'll be caught up and we'll do everything on time in terms of the schedule and whatnot. So, yeah. Okay, that's it.